Welcome to another Your Tech Report video. Today we are going hands-on with what gamers are gonna call the ultimate mini gaming PC from Asus. This is the Republic of Gamers ROG GR82. Now, if there's a gamer amongst the two of us, meaning Mitchell Whitfield or myself, I'm going to have to admit that he is definitely a higher-end gamer. He's the one who's built the PCs. He's the one who continues to do a little your tech report PC build. And uh, he is hardcore gaming. But sometimes I get to hang on to some of the cool stuff because I want to try it for not only gaming purposes, but other reasons, because this is a VR powerhouse. This mini PC is VR ready. It comes with customized NVIDIA graphics, Windows 10 Pro, the latest generation Core i7 processor, Intel's latest 802.11ac Wi-Fi, plus color changing Aura Sync, RAM up to 32 gigabytes. This is definitely a desktop grade PC and a really mini package. Let's take a look at what's inside the box over here. Starting with power, of course. You've got a giant power brick for this powerhouse. Giant power brick, nice long cable. Of course, you'll need that PC power supply to go along with that, uh, that cable over there. What about inside? Ugh. Surprisingly light, protect it. Surprisingly a light package uh, for the computer itself. The, the power brick almost weighs as much as the actual computer. Well protected in the, in the box itself. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice about this machine is design. This is a really, really, really cool design. Obviously when they design gaming rigs like this, it's not only for aesthetic purposes, but there's a reason for obviously heat distribution and proper airflow. And they also go in there with the design and make sure the cool is really up to, uh, up to where you want it to be. Not the temperature cool, I mean like the cool factor. This is a gaming PC, uh, is it not? On the front here, you'll notice the uh, headphone jack. You'll notice a microphone input, two USB adapters right there. You've got a fan on the top for cooling. You you can see the heat sink through there so you can see the air is going to flow through this uh, quite well on the back of this you've got the uh, digital audio output you've got gigabit ethernet three more usb type a ports you've got a usb type c connector port over there as well plus you've got a lock and the cool thing down here is you've got two hdmi ports if i hold that a little bit closer two hdmi ports right next to a display port now when they say this is vr ready one of the things you'll notice if you haven't used a vr headset is that they tend to come especially the newer ones with a USB cable and an HDMI cable right next to each other. This is so that you can plug the headset directly into it and get that VR experience. But what that does normally is it restricts what you can output your monitor to. So thanks to the design on this machine over here, you can output DisplayPort if you want, and you can also output HDMI to a second monitor perhaps, if you wanted to daisy chain that, while you still can plug in your VR headset. So this is definitely uh, VR ready, and that is why it is VR ready, of course on top of the fact that this is a powerhouse of a computer. Let's take a closer look at the design on the camera down here. You could take a, a nice little turn to see the cool kind of chromey orange centerpiece over there. You could see the very cool triangular design. It definitely is compact. I mean, it's not one of these things you're going to carry on the road with you, but it's compact in size, absolutely. But kind of like the Mac Pro was designed to, this is designed to be on the top of a desk so that you can actually enjoy the aesthetics and people can go, what on earth is that? So we're going to plug some power in over here so we can actually see some of the color. In terms of the gameplay and actual benchmarks and testing, you can find all that stuff online. Plus we'll list it here in the description, some cool links to the benchmarks of this machine, but it's completely customizable up to you know 32 gigs of ram the latest intel core i7 processors you can configure it with a core i5 if you want to but you're going to probably want to max this one out because it is definitely meant to be used as a, as a gaming powerhouse there's a custom nvidia gtx 1060 on board with either three gigs or six gigs depending on your configuration so when it comes to graphics power you know you're going to get that graphics power out of this machine Memory, as I alluded to earlier, up to 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. This is dual channel memory. You can have up to two DIMMs in this machine. So you could start at eight gigs, but go all the way up to 
32 if you want to. There are two wireless cards on board this machine, so it gives you redundancy on the networking. Plus, of course, you get that 10, 100, and gigabit Ethernet port on the back as well, plus Bluetooth 4.2, so you get the latest generation Bluetooth connectivity as well. Let's talk about storage for a second. So it comes with a 500 gig, two and a half inch non-solid state drive, but a 7200 RPM spinning drive, but you can also get up to 512 gig 2.5 inch solid state drive so you can get incredible write speeds and incredible read speeds especially when you're gaming on this if you look at the front panel here now you can already see the colors kind of rotating on the front panel of the machine this is just plugged in this isn't even turned on when i turn it on it's obviously going to do different things and you can customize this this is rgb so you get the full range of color on the customization of this so very cool glow obviously if you're gaming at night you're going to enjoy the colors a lot more on this machine than you would any other machine the way asus is marketing this is kind of interesting they're made it compact so you can bring it to a LAN party so you don't have to bring your full desktop but they give you all the desktop grade performance that you would expect in a full customized rig so the asus gr8 version 2 is definitely a gaming computer that you're gonna wanna showcase, you're gonna wanna show your friends, you're gonna wanna bring it around. I mean, heck, they make cases for this thing so you can carry it around. But it's definitely something that you're gonna wanna pay attention to, especially if you're getting into gaming and you wanna get into it a little bit heavier. This is definitely a performing machine that you're gonna wanna take a look at. If you're getting into the VR world and you wanna look at some of those mixed reality headsets, this is definitely a great solution because it's got all that connectivity, plus you don't have to compromise the external monitor support that you would get on a device like this in the first place. The Asus GR8 Mark II, available now. Of course, you can configure that up the wazoo. Take a look at asus.com. We'll put a link down in the description. If you did like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get more videos like this. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll find out about all the cool things we do on this channel as it happens. Thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next video.